One of the trends that's been going on in the sneaker world over the last year has been the rise in popularity of running shoes from the early 2000s. And one brand that has benefited from this possibly more than any other has been Asics. And it's easy to see why, because they got so many sneakers that fit into that category. But there has been one sneaker in particular that people can't seem to get enough of these days, and that is these right here, the Gel Cayano 14. And in this video, I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about this shoe. So it's very possible that for a lot of you guys watching this video, the first time you ever heard about this shoe was when these came out. These are the Jound A6 Gel Cano 14s. Those turned out to be so popular that resale prices right now are pretty much in the stratosphere. And they're pretty much out of reach for most people, but luckily A6 since then has released several general release colorways that look pretty much identical to the Jounds. The first was this Midnight Navy colorway, which by now is definitely sold out in most stores. However, the pair I have right here is the upcoming Metallic plum colorway which is actually already released in Europe and for those of you in North America these will be releasing over there on July the 1st on the ASICS website as well as other retailers so make sure you circle that date on your calendar the retail price for these will be $150 whereas here in Europe they retail for a slightly higher price of 160 euros so what do we need to know about this shoe well this is the gel Cayano 14 it's part of the gel Cayano series which is already right now in its 30th year yes we actually already have the gel Cayano 30 which is available for sale now but you could argue that from this entire series it's possible that the 14s as well as maybe the gel Cayano 5s have proven to be the most popular from this line and they have somewhat of a cult following among fans of the brand and for that reason Asics has continued to produce so many colorways of this shoe throughout the years and looking at this shoe it's pretty much the most y2k running shoe you can think of first of all it has that big hole mesh all over the sneaker which is not something you see with newer running shoes these days and then of course all over the sneaker you got these metallic silver hits which are made out of synthetic leather and this colorway the plum metallic is very identical to the jowns pretty much the only difference is at the back one of the panels actually two of the panels are done in this purple color but it's a very dark purple you honestly won't even notice that it's purple when looking at the shoe from a distance and then you also have that dark purple or plum color gel in the midsole of the sneaker you also have the asics logo done in a black color which looks really nice against that cream mesh and this colorway and this sneaker is just so clean and it's one of the reason why asics have just become a lot more popular these days people have just kind of gotten tired of the whole resale game and just how difficult it is to cop hype sneakers nowadays so sometimes you just want to go grab yourself a pair of shoes that looks good with pretty much anything it's pretty affordable fairly easy to get and of course it's very versatile can be worn with pretty much any outfit for the comfort on these so these sneakers do feature the gel technology from ASICS which do feel super comfortable on foot and is honestly great for all day use. I recently purchased a pair of the ASICS 1130s and I took these on a trip with me to Japan recently where I wore these pretty much every day and I was walking over 20,000 steps a day in these and I have to say these held up amazingly and they were very comfortable to walk in so I do swear by the gel technology it does feel great on feet. I would say these shoes actually do feel more comfortable than the New Balance 2002R or the 1906 because the cushioning does feel a bit softer on feet. It's not as comfortable as a New Balance 990 series for example but for the price value for money I think you're getting a very comfortable shoe. And for sizing on these so for me I prefer to go a half size up in the Gel Cayano 14 than my true size. I don't fit the same in all ASICS shoes so in the 1130s I actually fit true to size in that one. However in some other ASICS sneakers like the Gel Cayano 5 or the Gel Light 3s I do fit a half size up. I find these a bit narrow in the midfoot area so going a half size up I would personally recommend but I don't think it is a one size fits all. For a of you guys you might think that true to size fits perfectly i do suggest trying the shoe out in store for yourself to give you guys a bit of a reference point if you've never worn a pair of asics before i do fit a size 11 or my true size in most nike sneakers like nike dunks air maxes or jordan ones but in the gel cano 14s i do prefer to go a half size up to an 11 and a half overall i do think the gel cano 14 is one of the best shoes you can buy right now if you think about how good they look how versatile these are you can get a lot of use out of them and also 
they're just a very comfortable shoe that you're gonna wanna wear every day. I know for sure these are definitely gonna feature heavily in my summer rotation, but let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the Gel Cayano 14. I also just wanted to highlight how much momentum ASICS right now has as a brand. Not only have they had a lot of excellent general release colorways, they've also really been killing it in terms of collabs. They released a new model this year called the Gel NYC, which has gotten a lot of popularity for its comfort and looks. And they do have another upcoming collab with Kith on the Gel Cayano 14s, which I'll be honest, is a pretty similar colorway to the shoe I'm holding in my hand right now. And there's this also even more interesting collaboration with Unaffected, which is a Japanese brand. It is shaping up to be a very strong year for ASICs. And if you found this video useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. I'm dropping a lot of content, at least two to three videos every single week. You can find the links to all my social media in the description, as well as the link to my sneaker podcast. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.